What's up guys, it's Chris here with Prestige Auto, and today we're gonna to be changing out the water pump on this Oldsmobile Silhouette. All right guys, so we got this Oldsmobile Silhouette in the garage today, and uh, I noticed while driving it that um, it was getting a little warm. It wasn't going all the way to the red, but it was getting about, um, it was getting about a quarter over the halfway mark. And I didn't notice it while we were driving because um, the drip from the water pump is catching the pulley and just slinging it. You can see some water here and it's slinging it up there so it wasn't dripping underneath and we didn't know. Um, I came out from the store and saw it dripping underneath in the parking lot and you can see it's dripping right there. So I chased it up and I can see that it's dripping. I don't know if you can see it, but it's dripping from the bottom. Here's your water pump right here. It's going to be right there. So we're going to get our tools together and I'm going to show you guys how to, how to change that thing out. All right, it doesn't look like too bad of a job to do. Um, we're lucky it's there on the top. One of the first things we're going to want to do is, is we got to get, get this belt off of the water pump so that we can get that thing off. So if you look up in there, up in there, you can see that tensioner. So you want to get a ratchet or something. I've got a tool, but get a ratchet down the end. It's got a box opening for your ratchet. Put it on there and you can just crank it up a little bit to put, to relieve the tension and pop this, um, pop this belt off. That's going to be the first thing we do. And then I'm probably going to get a bungee and just pull these wires up out of the way. Get this plastic thing off and just kind of expose this area right here. Um, you're going to want to get yourself a catch bucket underneath the vehicle because this radiator line's got to come off. Make sure your vehicle's cool first. Don't want to do this while it's hot. It could burn you. So make sure it's cooled off. And we'll take this off and we'll move it up out of the way. It's going to drain a little bit, so make sure you got your bucket under there. And then from there, it should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get that belt off and start moving this stuff out of the way. Okay, I like to use one of these. I picked it up at Harbor Freight for, I don't know, maybe 25 bucks. And it came with this and a little kit for other different sizes. But it's good for getting your belt off. You can kind of see in the video, um, your tensioner is right back in there. Now this has got that box end on it, like I was telling you. We'll just stick it in on the end and then we'll crank it up to uh, release the pressure. So let's try to get that off. Alright, sometimes that thing's in there at a weird angle and you're not going to be able to get that tool on there. So just go with your basic ratchet if, if that tool doesn't work. And uh, I've got a little extender I put on it like that to give me some leverage. So we'll get that in there. Mm. Okay. Now I don't even need that little leverage bar. I can just pull right up on it and release that tension. Alright, you see there that I was able to push that back and I pulled that belt right off that pulley. Now it's loose and we can start working on this water pump area now. Alright, we're going to need to go ahead and get ourselves a catch bucket underneath so we can get this radiator hose off right here. So let's go on over here and find ourselves a bucket. I think this one will work just fine. We can get it out of here. Alright. So we're just going to take that and slide that underneath. You can see where we've been leaking there. Uh, somewhere in that area. Just shove it under there. And that should catch anything that spills out. Alright, now we're going to um, strap this back out of the way and get this plastic cover off and see what kind of tools we're going to need in there to get that thing out.
Okay, now we've got that wire bungeed up out of the way to give us some room. We'll take this little wire here and just pull it back also. All right, I'll probably have to strap that back. Okay, so I thought that this just popped off. It doesn't. Um, right about here underneath there is an 8 millimeter. So you want to go ahead and get that 8 millimeter out, and this will come off right here. All right, guys, so this is my first time doing this, so we're learning together. All right, so I should have. All right, so one thing I need to point out is um, we need to take this pulley off the water pump here. Now, if we take the belt off first, this thing's going to just spin. So if you haven't got there yet, if you haven't took off the belt yet, um, go ahead and break these bolts free and then take your belt off. If you've already taken the belt off, you'll need to reach in there on that tensioner and uh, pull your tension back up and slap it back up on there like it's supposed to be. You can break these screws loose and then we'll take the belt back off when we get that thing off. All right, now that we've taken that belt back off and uh, we've got those already loose, we'll go ahead and take those off the rest of the way. Now those are a 10 millimeter and there's four of them. Let's go ahead and get those out. Okay, that came off. All right, now that we've got our pulley loose, um, we can go ahead and pull it out. It was a little stuck in there, so I had to jiggle it a little bit and pry on it with a screwdriver, but it just pops right off. All right, so we've made it down to the water pump. This is your water pump right here. Um, I was wrong. I don't think we're going to have to take this hose off at all. So um, it looks like there's um, maybe six bolts, one here, here, there, around it, and there's a gasket in between them. So we're going to go ahead and take these bolts off right here and pull this thing out. All right, now we got all those bolts out that were around there. Um, they were eight millimeter and there were one, two, three, four, five of them. So now that we got those off, we're gonna give this thing just a little gentle tap and a little pry and see if we can't pull this thing out. Looks like just a couple little taps with the hammer did it. We've got it loose. Now be careful because your water still could be a little hot and you don't want to get burnt. And like I said, there's a gasket in between those. So we're just going to take it. And there it goes. Some water's pouring out. Let me show you. See it pouring out there. It's coming from the bottom. Let's go make sure we're hitting our bucket. Yeah, we're getting it in there for the most part. Okay, so we're going to let that drain down just a little bit and get all that water out of our way. And there's your water pump right there. We're going to get that thing out the rest of the way and take a look at it. Okay, we've got that thing all the way out. And here's your water pump. This is what it looks like. It's still kind of hot. But um, this is where your pulley set on the front and your four bolts went in. When, this, when your belt spins this, it spins this on the inside and it pumps your water through your system. Ooh, that's still hot. All right, and that's where that thing used to sit. Now there's gonna be old gasket and some junk around that edge, so you're gonna wanna clean that up real good and smooth, get it cleaned up real good for, um, for the installation of the new water pump and new gasket. So let's clean all that stuff up and get it prepared. All right, we've got that all cleaned up now. You wanna clean that surface real good where your next one's gonna made up to um, I like to take a new razor blade and just put it flat and gently just, you know, run it along the edge there and then wipe it off real good. Make sure none of your uh, debris from your old gasket falls inside. If it does, just shop back it out, wipe it out or something like that. 
Okay, now I'm going to try to show you guys where this old one leaks from. They have a weep hole on the bottom. Let me get all this set up here. They have a weep hole. So this is the outside that you see. Well, let me go down some. This is the outside that you see. And you've got your pulley on here that your belt attaches to. Now on the bottom of this thing, let me see if I can locate it. Find it and see if you can see it. All right. So, yeah, okay. Right here where my thumb is, there's a hole in the side of that thing. See that? That's a weep hole. Now when this thing's sitting like that and it's spinning in your car, when these things go bad, they start dripping water out from that weep hole right there. So if you've got a, a coolant leak on your vehicle, just look up around this water pump and if you see it dripping, dripping from the bottom of it, most likely you've got a bad water pump. So we're waiting on AutoZone to get here with the, uh, waiting on AutoZone to get here with a new water pump and a, a case of coolant and a new gasket and then we'll get this thing slapped back on. All right, so AutoZone just showed up with our new water pump. Now this thing was uh, like 29 bucks. Wasn't that expensive. All right, this one's no good anymore. We'll just set it out of the way and we'll get this box open and we'll show you what's inside. So it's gonna come with a new gasket. So you don't have to worry about that. It comes with one. And you've got your new water pump here. So it looks much better than the other one. We will, uh, we've already got that uh, surface cleaned up. We're gonna get this one, just gonna wipe it down a little bit, put this new gasket on, and we'll start putting this one back together. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're putting this gasket on the right way. As you can see, if you look at it, there's like a little tab beside this one. Um, right here is a little tab. You need to line it up with that. So if you've got it around this way, you can see that that tab's not gonna be on the same side. So make sure you got it flipped around and get that tab lined up like that. Also, it says in the instructions, to take a little bit of black silicone or just something like this. You don't want to use a lot at all. You don't want any to squeeze inside here and clog any of this up. We're just going to put like a tiny little dab there, there, and maybe there. Okay. And that's just going to act as a little kind of like glue to hold this thing in place so it doesn't slide around while we're installing it so get it on there okay see that will keep your gasket from falling off during installation so let's get over to the car and slide this thing in all right so we're getting ready to install this thing now and you want to make sure that you're putting it on right so that weep hole that i showed you earlier You'll see it inside this one right there. It needs to go down. So it's going to be on the bottom. And then um, just work it in there. Try not to bang anything up. Okay. And it just sits right in place like that. Now we'll go ahead and get a couple of these bolts and finger tighten them in to hold it in place. Now I'm going to post a picture that has the torque specs. Your water pump torque specs to this block I think are 89 inch pounds. And uh, the pulley that goes on the front is 18 foot pounds. Something like that. I'll post a picture. Alright, we got that son of a gun snugged on there. Now, um, the way that I had it lined up initially was not right. Not all my screws would fit in the right way, so I had to twist that thing around until all the holes would line up. So once you get this thing in, don't snug up your first one or even your second one. Make sure all of them will line up first, then snug it down. So let's get out our um, torque wrench now. We're going to torque these to 89 inch pounds. Um, I think that's right. Still, I'm going to post a picture of what it's supposed to be. So let's get those cranked down. We've got that thing on now. We've got it torqued down. And now we've got our pulley here with our four bolts. I think those were 10 millimeter. So I've just got those setting in there like that so I didn't lose them. But we're going to take that 
and we're going to slide it down here over this shaft make sure that it's snug down evenly everywhere you might want to give it a little spin and just watch the margin on the side and make sure it's not um, it's not bowed out on one side and then uh, we'll get those four bolts in there I think they are 18 inch pounds and uh, let's get it Okay, so we've got all these hand tight in. Um, you're not going to be able to torque them down or snug them down all the way until we get this belt back on because it's just going to spin along with you. So now you need to get your wrench, stick it back in there to your tensioner, and we're going to pry on it and pull this belt back up over this pulley right here. And then we'll be able to torque these down. So let's do that. All right, guys, now we are basically done with this job. We've got our belt on. We've got these torqued down. Um, about all we have left is just to put this bolt in with this 8mm. It goes through there and into the side right there. Now, that's got a clamp on it that's going to hold this back down. And that's about it. We're going to top off our coolant. And uh, we're going to start it up and let it run for about 15 or 20 minutes and just make sure it's not going to overheat and make sure it's not leaking anywhere. You definitely want to get it all the way up to temperature. And then check for leaks because sometimes it's not going to leak until it gets all the way up to temp and builds up pressure. Then it's going to start spewing out those little spots to uh, like maybe if you didn't seat your gasket good all the way. So make sure we get it up to temperature. Check your gaskets and everything. Check for leaks. So let's put this on and get this job finished up. All right, guys, I'd like to point this out before we get any further, and I wish I would have said this at the beginning of the video, but uh, it's probably going to leak if you don't do this. So definitely, definitely, it's going to leak if you don't do this. Um, stop what you're doing, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and then you won't have no leaks. Cool, thanks. All right, now when you fill this thing up, it's going to come all the way up to the top. Don't stop then and think that you've got it full. Um, there's going to be some air in the system. You'll let it work its way on down like you see right there. You're probably going to do that several times. Top it up and let it settle and go down. And then one thing I like to do when I get it all the way to the top and I feel that it's full, I'll start the engine up and let it run for about 5-10 minutes until the um, thermostat opens up. And then it might suck some more coolant down into the system. And then you can top it back up again. You don't want it to get too hot and start, you know, bubbling and blowing out the top because it got too hot. So like I said, about five minutes. Whenever your thermostat opens up, it'll suck down. Go ahead and get your cap on then. All right, we're going to go ahead and start it up now and let it warm up and keep topping it up as it um, as it goes down and then we'll get the cap on it. Okay, and you'll also want to go ahead and turn your heat on full blast so that it opens up with your heater cord and flushes through the whole system and gets all the air out of the system. Well, all right, guys, we got this job all wrapped up. That wasn't too bad. Um, in real time, it probably took me about 30 minutes to get all this stuff off and put it back on. Um, let's see, the, uh, the, the water pump was about $29. Now I ended up getting a new belt. The old belt was a little rough, so we threw on a new belt also. But that's about it, guys. Not too much stuff to it. We went ahead and uh, we fired it up, and we let it run for about... 
15 minutes to see if it was going to leak anything or if it overheated or or any of those issues it looks pretty good underneath um these two little drips right there just from where i filled up the coolant and it dripped off from around this cap right there you can see a few wet spots but nothing's dripping on here so i think we got it all fixed up well all right guys that's going to do it for this video um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this helped you with your um, water pump issue. It's a fairly simple job and uh, this project's the same on a lot of other vehicles. The, this is the same as the Pontiac Montana. Um, if you just look it up, it's the same as a lot of other vehicles. So, uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.